Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you my placings from the Briar West Open Show. Which was all the way back on March 22nd now. I'm really sorry this video is so late. Before I get into my placings, I do want to talk a little bit about Briar West in general. Overall, it was a really, really great model horse show. Probably one of the absolute best I've ever been to. It was so well organized and ran so smoothly. The showrunner, Aaron Corbett, did such an amazing job with it. And it was really cool, of course, for Briar to have sponsored it and been able to give away models as prizes in the open show. A really great time and there was a lot of awesome people there and really good judges. Just a really, really wonderful show. There was one slight little snag with it, which was that the shipment of ribbons that Briar sent for the Briar West Open Show, which was supposed to have the flat ribbons and rosettes, apparently something happened and it like got lost on its shipment over to Albany, Oregon. So I guess they're still trying to figure that out, but hopefully they will be sending everyone their ribbons in the mail. If they do end up doing that, I will do maybe another video showing the satin ribbons that were supposed to be used at the show. At the show, they improvised by using just little cut-out things of ribbon to be the placeholders for the placings. And then I believe for the novice show on Sunday, which I was not able to come and view at all, but apparently they used recycled Briarfest and Briar West ribbons from previous years as the placings. So that was really the only snag for the entire show, and while it was, of course, a little tiny bit disappointing not to have the nice little special Briar ribbons actually at the show, it was otherwise just completely great. At the show, instead of just having like an overall OF Briar division for the traditionals and classics, they actually did have it split up into like four different divisions. So they had the Briar Special Run division, the Briar Regular Run Division, Collectability Division, and then a Limited Run Division. And then they also had Custom and Performance. I haven't really showed at a show before that did that where they split up the OF Briars into some different divisions based on their rarity. So it's kind of cool that you wouldn't be showing a regular run next to a raffle model in the same class. So now I'll actually get on to talking about my placings. I was going to talk more about like a lot of the photos that I took at the Briar West Open Show, but I feel like most of them are fairly self-explanatory and I don't want to make this video crazy long, so I'm mostly just going to be going over my own placings. I do have some more video and pictures from the Open Show in my Briar West Experience video. If you have not seen that one yet, you can check it out. I will have it in the cards at the end of the video and in the description down below. And then after this video, I will also be putting out my Briar West haul video, so keep an eye out for that. But now let's go on to my placings. So first here, you can see what the rings looked like, and then you can see the little cutouts of little ribbons they used as placings. Here are just the Briar silent auction models. In this picture, it was before the show was starting, and it's all the prize models, although they did actually give out a couple other models for champ and reserve on some things. But in general, the sectional reserve prize was Celeste, sectional champion was Fletcher, the overall reserve champion was a Premier Club Dundee, and overall champion was the Premier Club Bristol. In this picture is my table, actually, with all of my models, minus one of them, up here that I was showing. And then onto my first Briar West placing, which was my little Darley stablemate. This was his first time showing, and he got a third, which was really exciting, because those OF mini classes were really big. There were quite a lot of stablemates in most of them. And then my next placing was super exciting because it was actually a first place. I was really surprised because I was not expecting to do like super well at the Briar West show or anything because Briar shows are generally so competitive. So I was truly shocked that my mare here got a first place. That is just crazy incredible. 
And then this placing actually might have gotten technically before my Yasmin I just showed, but I didn't get a good picture of her on the table with my usual camera. So here she is. This is Autumn Shimmer, and she got a fifth in the Briar regular run division. I forgot to mention that my Yasmin got first in the special run division, and then of course the Darlie placed in the OF mini division. In the special run division, my Champagne Wishes got a third, which I'm really happy and excited about because I believe there are quite a lot of Tennessee Walking Mares in that class. Also in the special run division, my little Pottery Barn horse guy here got a third, but there were only three horses in the class, which was part of the reason I brought him because I thought that class was not going to have a lot of horses in it because it was a Briar special run Morgan class. But I was like, wait a second, I don't really recall Briar actually having that many Morgan special runs. So there ended up being only only three horses in the class. So that's still just kind of cool that he got something, I guess. But, you know, not quite as exciting since there were only a couple horses in the class anyway. In the regular run division, my Appaloosa treasure hunt model got a first in the Appaloosa class, which was super cool. She is a really, really gorgeous model, and I was happy to see her place. And this is the first time that she's ever placed, so that's really cool. And then the Briar Special Run Division had their callbacks, and I was just completely shocked that my Yasmin ended up getting a champion for the Light Breeds, which is just crazy insane. I was not expecting that at all. My traditional briars actually very rarely get champs or reserves in the sections. Once in a great while they do, but... So it was a big surprise that she not only got a champ in a section, but at a briar show. It was just a huge surprise. And so she won a glossy Fletcher, which you can see in my Briar West Hall video. This next placing was for my Royal Cablar in the special run division, and he got a six. I get really excited whenever I see this model place. This is a picture of the Briar Long Ears and Exotics class. So as you can see, there were a lot of mules and donkeys in that class, and then a couple zebras. And I was really surprised that my little Long Ear here actually got a second in that big old class for the regular runs. This little donkey does so well for me, and I'm so proud that she got a placing at a Briar show. Now this here is a big class, as you can tell. Now, I believe this class was split, though. I, I think she might have split it between Clydesdales and Shires. I'm, I can't remember for sure. But I do have a horse in here that got a placing, which was my Shannondale. He got a second and I'm really surprised because there were a lot of other Shannondales there. I really wasn't sure what to expect. He's usually the one or two Shannondales at my local shows. So I'm really surprised that he placed as high as he did considering there were so many other Shannondales there. And then this is a little mini that placed. I brought a handful of stablemates, but most of them did not place because there were just so many stablemates in those stablemate classes. But this little mare actually got a first, which was super duper exciting. And I really love this little stable mate. I think she is just absolutely adorable. And I believe this is also her first placing. I think I've shown her once before and she didn't get anything. But she got a placing at Briar West. In the special run division in one of the pony classes, my Bramble got a third, which was super exciting. I love Bramble. She is just so gorgeous. And I was really happy to see her place. And then here's another little stable mate that got a placing. This little pony got a third in her class, which I believe was also a fairly good size pony class, which is just amazing. And then for, I believe it was the mini china resin porcelain class thing, my little Mustang guy here got a second, which is really cool. And then there were some callbacks for the stable mates. And my little stable mate mare I just showed you got a reserve, which was super duper exciting. 
I was starting not to expect to get really too much of anything in the OF mini classes because they were just so big. But my little girl here got a reserve, which meant she won the Briar model Celeste. Again, you can see that model in my Briar West Hall video because I didn't take out any of my prize models and take pictures of them at the show because I didn't really have time. That was just super amazing. I was not expecting to really win anything at all. And then to win two models was just incredible. Here's another placing from the special run division. This little guy here got a fourth. I love this little Briarfest 2018 filly. She is just so, so cute. And here's actually a picture of Christina Riley's little custom fantasy custom. And the reason I'm showing this is because I wanted to show the couple of pictures I have from the custom fantasy class. I only showed two models, I believe, in the Briar custom classes. And one of them that I showed was a fantasy model, and I'm very surprised by his placing. So it was a pretty big class, and as you can see, there were stable mates and traditionals. And then on the corner here is my guy, who happened to get a fourth in that big class. I'm super surprised by that. This guy is a classic custom I did in 2016, actually originally for the Briarfest Carnival Diorama Contest, but he didn't win anything, but I still bring him to show him at model horse shows, and I'm very happy that he got a placing. In the Briar Limited Run Division, my Glossy Simba got a third, which was really exciting because there are a lot of really limited and collectible models that were at the show. So it was really cool to see him get a placing. And then there was the most shocking and exciting and surprising part of the show, which was when they did the callbacks for the Briar Special Run overall champ in reserve. I honestly still can't believe it, like, at all. It's, it's crazy. It's been over a month now since the show, but I'm still like, wow, I really still can't believe that this happened. That my Yasmin, who had gotten the section champ for Light Breeds, actually won overall for the Briar Special Run Division. Like, that is just crazy insane. I really can't believe it still. And so that meant that she won me another Premier Club model, which is the absolutely gorgeous Bristol, who I will go into detail with in my Briar West Hall video. I just still can't believe it, and in hindsight, I should have taken some better pictures. I have only like a couple pictures of my mare here with the box and the little ribbons, but I never actually had like a picture taken of me with her at the show. I probably should have done that, but regardless, it was just super duper incredible. And I'm sorry I keep saying I can't believe it, but I just still, I can't believe it. And then here is a picture of the reserve champ which wasn't my model, but I just thought I'd show it since I happened to have it on here, which was a glossy Tobiano Dark Horse Surprise. And so the owner of that model won a Dundee Premier Club model. And then now for my very last placing of the day in the Briar Limited Run Division, my win place or show got a fifth place. I don't think the class he was in was very big, if I remember correctly, but still it was cool that he got a placing. All in all, I brought 48 models to show at Briar West, and 17 out of the 48 placed, and I got one section reserve and one section champ, and then one overall champion, so not a bad turnout if I do say so myself. That's actually the best I have done in a show in quite some time. Then that wraps it up for my Briar West 2019 Open Show Placings video. It was such a great show, and I will more than likely be showing again next year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see my Briar West Experience video and my Briar West Hall video, I have the playlist for all of my Briar West videos in the description down below. I hope you guys have a super duper awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!